I don't know why, but I feel like you guys want more roasts. And wow, is the weather getting warmer outside or is it like just all these roasts? Let's jump into it. Welcome to Weapon Roast 7. Ah, <sighs> goodness. Did you know there's a 96 in the 96 gal? Cause that's how many people don't use it. <laughs> you know, meaning that there's only 4% of people who play it. <sighs> The arrow spray's fire rate is how fast you'll go down from X rank to C minus. This is to a sub weapon, but they call it toxic mist because of all the missed opportunities. A, A, A. <laughs> Wait, you're using the arrow spray PG? More like the <laughs> arrow spray, please get out of my face. If the blob lobber is a bathtub, the only thing it's washing away are your ranks. The only clear thing about the clear dabble dullies is that the ink is so thin, it's practically see-through. The only thing that'll zap you about the end zap is how soon you'll zap it out of your life for being so boring. The Sorella Brella is so forgettable, the devs even forgot to give its canopy a unique model. The only thing that L3 Nalzano's mains are gonna be taking are L's. It's even in the name! The Charger is the definition of doing a cool skateboard trick and telling your friends, and then you fail every single time you try to show them. Finding a kill with the Clash Blaster is as hard as making a good joke. The 21st of September is the shortest day of 2020. At least something. <laughs> can sympathize with the range of the sploosh. The only thing that'll make the dually squelchers amount to anything is to slap a sticker onto it. <laughs> the time it takes to land an attack with a dynamo roller, you can go and cook and eat a bowl of ramen. Ooh, I should, I should go and do that. I'll, I'll be right back. The eater's range is so long because that's how far away you are from succeeding with it. The explosher? <laughs> the only thing that is exploding is the happiness of the user. The PG in Aerospray PG must mean something, right? <laughs> well, it must be for little kids because it's definitely not the Aerospray PG-13. The explosher is clearly the best weapon in the game and can do no wrong. Why else would Nintendo nerf it again? And again, and again, and again. As a flings a roller main, I feel personally attacked by all these people roasting my weapon. Uh, possibly because I'm probably the only person who's a flings a roller main in existence, but did you know? The G in Tenebrella stands for good. Wait a minute, there is no G. The real reason it's called the tri slosher is because no matter how hard you try, you'll never get a splat. The chances of a dynamo roller swinging in time is as much as the chances of this getting into weapon row 7. Well... Tent umbrella shots are so slow, my dad can set up a tent in a shorter amount of time. Explosher? More like overweight burst bomb. Ever wanted to be a stealthy, conniving, and unstoppable splatting machine? Well, the splat roller and the carbon roller are just the weapons you needed. But there's a catch. By which I mean any other enemy ready to bring your short-ranged, I mean short-lived, reign of terror to an end. No matter how fast an ink brush glides across the map, no matter how many splat bombs they throw, no matter how many darn splashdowns they use, they'll never be able to escape the darkness that we call the Hydra. sploosh -matic? If only it automatically hit its targets. Hydra Splatling mains are like Pokemon rivals. No matter how good they think they are, no matter how many times they try, as soon as they confront you, they've already lost. <sighs> breaking a potato chip is 10 times harder than breaking the undercover Brella shield. Did you know? The mini splatling charges just as fast as you lose the lead. The NZAP 89 is called that because you die 89 times while using it. Hey, 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 look. J j just before your eyes, a perfectly exposed squid. They're swamped in enemy ink and nowhere to recharge their empty ink tank. You ready your tri slosher in preparation to get a splat. Perfect. You creep up. Ha <laughs> ha! You swing your tri slosher. And you miss. 
How? I was so close! Up to the enemy! This range is broken. I demand to speak to- Splat bombs are like me. They keep falling off the map. So... You like squeezers, eh? Welcome to the club! And I mean, the club you just created. Cause I haven't really met anyone who likes it yet. So you're the first! Tell me a match where you haven't seen any splatter shot jump to get kills. <laughs> I'll wait. The sploosh matic is as annoying, if not more annoying than Sheldon. And that's saying something. I don't like this one. I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of that. I'm, I'm leaving now. I'm le if you use the squeezer, uh, be careful. You might want to check and see if you accidentally drank that ink tank. Everyone says that three is such a lucky number. So, can anyone tell me why people use the tri slosher have such bad luck? I mean, it's like they aren't even trying to be lucky. I'm charging my Hydra Splatling right now. One second. Oh wait, the video's already over. Oh wow, it really is a scorcher out there. Thank you for listening to Weapon Roast 7. If you want to be a part of Weapon Roast 8, all you gotta do is leave your own spicy roast in the comments below. If you think you got what it takes to make a good roast, please do your worst. Add to the, uh, <laughs> 360 comments that we got on this video, because wow, people were really excited. And I hope that you keep enjoying these in the future. See ya lates.